In this video, we will work through developer environment setup using the styles provided by Mapbox and our own customized styles and it points to the map. Okay, let's start. Here is the website of the Mapbox and there is a developer tab. We can click the GLGS part. There are two ways of using Mapbox. The first way is dynamic reference, which is it is a script and link to the CSS and JS files hosted by Mapbox. And if you copy and paste those code, it will, it will look like this, and we can start static server. Now I'm listening on the uh, 50 50 port. And if I go to that port, it will be a simple list map. You can scroll in, drag in, or even change the angle. And there is another way to set up Mapbox. And for me, this is the way I preferred for using Mapbox GL or any other JavaScript libraries. So let me demonstrate how to use that way. I created another directory called static bounding. And for now, let me install the GL library. Slash s, upcase s is same as using save. It's just a shortcut. And we can just copy and paste those, those code. This is the newly added dependencies using the package.json from npm. We can manage the dependencies and their version. So we can import the map box GL from the dist. And uh, setting this as F because because there is an F tag. So so I think it should work. Let's start the building process. Now comes the styles part. You may notice that there is a style property in working the map method. So there are lots of predefined styles provided by Macbox. We can click the studio. And here are some predefined styles. Let me change our style to light. And there is a style URL. Just change it. In. And if I refresh the page, the style is changed. So there are six predefined styles. And we can also define our own styles by clicking the styles tag. I created this demo one and I can copy the style URL and change it. So we can 
editor the style in the mapbox style editor so we can change the color of the water to hmm. The color like this, and okay, we can click publish. If you click publish as new, you will create a new style. But I'm the one create new the style this time, so just click publish. Okay, and now if I refresh the page. That's the color we just changed. Okay, that's the styles part. Now let's try to add some points to the map we just created. Please image everything on the map as a layer, such as this, this one. There is a base layer, and there is a new layer with some icons for adding points we also need add a layer and for add a layer we should call the add layer a layer and there is a layer object if you click this one you will go to this page this is the shape of the object the ID should be a unique string and let me just call it points and there is a source property we need to specify, specify later the source layer property is used for tail side data I think so no need to, no need to use it this time there are different types we, we are using the circles Type this time. Type so type circle. And the paint is used for specify some stylings. Let me just uh, commit the paint this time. So what's the source? We need to use the eight source to add some to add some to bound some data to the map. To the about MapGL object, and uh, for using the Isaurus, we should also specify the shape of this Isaurus object, and here it is. And, uh, we also need to specify the type and uh, for now then we should use the uh, geojson data type um, for you who don't know what geojson does this is a tool for you for try geojson by yourself so we can add some points to the map and uh, it is the geodeson data generated by after the edit after the point is edited and even add some lines and this is the related geodeson so let me add two points And try to add those two points to our as a data source. And let's go back to the API specification called mapboxgl dot source, and I should specify a ID. 
the ID name, we just call it points solves and specification type should be uh, geo JSON and JSON and the data is the data we just created. Replace the double port to single port. Okay, we just added the source and let me use the source here. Mm. So when we call those methods, the map should be already rendered. So we can attach the map variable to this map and attach an event listener to this map called node. If it's finished the node, we will attach the ADA layer and ADA source to it. I think I should call the ADA source first. Go to the page and refresh. Try to check whether it works. There is an error. Ah, uh, yeah. As you add it to the map, you see there is a point in China and there is a point in United Kingdom. So we can add the styling properties to uh, to this layer in paint. I think there is a circle radius. Thirteen. And uh, there should be a circle here. Let me just do sky blue. Ah, uh, is that cool color? Okay. okay, that's not only how we add points to the map provided by Mapbox, but how we attach other things on the map, I think, because I'm, I'm also a newbie in the map. Okay, that's it. I hope you think this video is helpful and I will create more videos like this. Try my best. See you.